So as host of All About Android, you play with a lot of Android devices, I phones, do. tablets, and so forth. Yes. We thought we'd try this one out. This is the Sony Xperia. They don't get a lot of attention for their Xperia phones or tablets. Maybe yeah. they should. Well, I mean, this is actually, I, I will say right off the top, a pretty uh, awesome 10 point one inch tablet and as you can see it's super thin it's but you know what you can't see is What's how it? light it is oh yeah no i mean it's really light um it surprised fact, me when i picked it up yeah 16.9 ounces Oof. uh that's a pound basically yeah basically yeah exactly just slightly and they say it's as it's thin thinner, as a pencil thinner than a pencil oh definitely oh, it's a oh, lot wait a minute. that's the a, wrong size oh no pencil. use a regular let me, pencil let me yeah, uh, get yeah. An it's still is thinner than a normal yeah. pencil. <laughs> Look at that. Normal Jason's pencil. a big guy, and so he uses big uh, writing implements. Yeah, exactly. So here we go. Uh, it's very thin, light, and, uh, you know, the weight is very evenly distributed. So when you pick it up... It, I don't know. It just feels it feels solid. At first, I wanted to say that it was going to be feel like I'm holding a sheet of glass and that it might break at any any point. It doesn't point. feel it doesn't fragile, feel, but it does no. feel uh, almost hollow. Yeah, don't it has, feel like it has it's a really little light. bit of, of hollowness to Not it. Not the but sound, just how light it is. It yeah. seems like this should weigh more. No, absolutely. It has yeah. this kind of squarish design, which uh, is, I think it's kind of one of those things that you're either going to love it or hate it. I kind of think it, that it makes it look a little bland. You know, um, Apple and everybody now are doing this wedge thing where it's mm -hmm. just as thick in the middle, but it's thinner on the edges. Yeah. Sony, I guess, decided, why, why try to pretend we're thinner than we are? Well, and one of the features of this is that it's water resistant up to three feet deep. What? Um, we'll go ahead and throw it in that uh, drawer, our water drawer. I was wondering if we do that at the beginning <laughs> or the end, because I have not done this yet. No, 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 let's not. Let's, let's, let's not. save it for the end. I don't trust that water resistant stuff. I, I trust it enough to try it at the end of the review, but Three let me show feet. it off first. Yeah. But it's water resistant, so as a result, you, you end up with... You could take it in the tub. Uh, yes, or you could take it to the beach and get splashed. Yeah. It has these little flippy things, right, to get oh, those to the connector. cover the holes. And that covers the holes. Okay. And that's actually one of the kind of things that I don't necessarily love. Right. But it's kind of essential if you want that water resistance. It's what actually keeps the water out. Sure of the ports that you have throughout. It's just kind of annoying to have to unplug it right. uh, every time you want to you know, plug it If you thought it's never going to go underwater, you, I suppose you could tear that off and not have yeah. to worry about it. Yeah, exactly. So, now, it isn't the latest, greatest Android. It's 4.1? Yeah, it's 4.1.2 Jelly Bean. It's still and Jelly Bean, but boy, I'd like to see 4.2. Yeah, and Ooh, that's I have a pretty seen, screen. Though. It has a very nice, vivid, sharp screen. It, it, the, the, you know, they tie these into the whole Bravia kind of engine that, that Sony is, is very now, tied into. So Sony the makes these, uh, these nice. IGZO uh, displays. Is it an IGZO display? I don't think so. Uh, no, I don't believe that it is. Okay. Uh, they tout OptiContrast, which yeah. is just a fancy word for having bright contrast for outside. And indeed, it's very bright. It looks like an, a, an OLED screen, uh, but it's not, right? It's an LCD? Or is it uh, OLED? Yeah, I I'll look like it up. That. I'll look it up. You keep Reality showing. display. They've got lots of tech yeah. uh, taglines for it. You know what? Sony things. calls yeah. their OLEDs reality. So that is an OLED. There we display. go. There we it go. It looks like one. 1. 1.5 gigahertz quad core Snapdragon S4 processor with two gigs of RAM. I found it to be perfectly sufficient uh, from a power uh, perspective for things like gaming. I actually played uh, Riptide GP2, which just came out on Android not too long ago, and it was super fluid and uh, a lot of fun to play. Although I will say with the design that the speakers are down here at the bottom corners. And how are you likely to hold a tablet when you're gaming? Right. Like this. In some tablets when you do this, it actually enhances the sound because your cupped hand projects the sound back <laughs> to you. But on this, it's literally where your palm Cover it. rests over. And yeah. it's so they're so small that you, you hardly hear the speakers as a result. So for gaming, that's kind of a disappointment. Even though it plays, you know, when you're playing games on this, it's super, uh, super fluid and uh, performs really well. Uh, browsing, of course, the OS level controls, uh, all very solid and uh, pretty happy with it. Um, the software, there's a lot of specific software features in here. First of all, the skin is not is by no means a stock skin. It's definitely kind of a themed skin, and they have all these different choices for different themes that you can uh, put over the top of it. So you either love it or you hate it. It didn't bother me that much, but they have other things built into there, things like uh, down here at the bottom, you have this list of apps that you can pop over the top of anything that you have, you know, like a note app or playing video, stuff like that. Now, the good news is I'm seeing that the, it, 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 people have rooted it and CyanogenMod is available for it. So if you decided you wanted a more stock Android of experience with or more you get installed Android, just a you know just a replacement launcher. I use Nova really Launcher routinely, and then it looks level. just like it looks the same everywhere. Yeah, yeah absolutely. It has an IR blaster. 
So if that's ah. your thing, that's a really nice feature. So you could use it as a remote control for Exactly. Your TV. And they have these integrated NFC. Now, I don't have Sony uh, TV at home, so I couldn't test this myself. But they have all these integrated kind of NFC capabilities so that these devices can talk to each other, Sony devices. So if you're really bought into the Sony world, uh, there's a lot of capability as far as like flinging your media up to the TV, having mm -hmm. a mirror, all that kind of stuff. Uh, if you're a Sony fan... This tablet but you might have be a to have way. a Sony TV. It yeah. won't work with other TVs. Yeah, they work with you know Bravia mm. TVs. They're they're all about getting you into the Sony world, I guess. Uh, camera. I, I almost when when talking about tablets, don't even you know care too much about the camera because how many pictures are people taking with with tablets? And the quality is kind of always the same. Really great in high light situations. Really poor in low light situations. I was taking pictures in here, back in the editor's room, outside, and the outside ones looked pretty decent. Everything else looked very washed out and kind of grainy. So mm. if a camera on your tablet is important to you, probably isn't the best tablet, but I don't know that's why you uh, would pay $500 it's for a tablet. It's got a decent camera. Yeah, not, it it's got a serviceable great. camera. Yeah. I really love how the screen looks, although the, you might say that those are in unnaturally colorful. It's, it's overly vivid yeah. and uh, yeah. overly saturated, yeah. for sure. But that's what I like. Yeah, there you go. There <laughs> 1920 you go. by 1200, pretty high resolution. Yeah, yeah, high resolution. Uh, what am I missing? Micro SD card, the 8.1 megapixel rear-facing camera, by the way. Uh, LTE option is available for those that want that. The battery is 6,000 milliamp hours. Oh, that's a I, lot. Yeah, I thought it was a uh, pretty, pretty so efficient. So you get, you get 10 time. hours typically all day, basically. <laughs> yeah, it's so hard to tell sometimes yeah. because you have these for such a short period, period of right. time. But I was syncing a lot of stuff and I never yeah. had to worry yeah. really about the battery. And, cool. uh, that's about so all. So let's get the pros about. and cons. So the pros, uh, water resistant design. So if that's important to you, this is one of the few players, incredibly thin and light, uh, fits just right inside a pocket in your backpack and you won't even know that it's there. Uh, bright and sharp display, the IR blaster integration is Sony, uh, other Sony things, all of that is a pro. Uh, cons, the covers just kind of get annoying, you know, even just for charging it nightly. Having to get that cover off, and it's really hard to kind of get in there and get it off, uh, can be a little downer. Uh, the square corners, the square kind of design, can kind of be uncomfortable uh, when you're gaming in particular, and the love it or hate it skin. Uh, but we're, we can't not, you know, we can't do a review of this and not show off its water resistant capabilities. You're not going to put it in water. Oh, hey, that's what they say you can do. <laughs> Up to three feet. I'm only doing what Sony said. It's a bathtub tablet that oh, I can do. God, that hurts whenever anybody does that. I there know. you go, and it's still working. Yeah, it's still on. So can you swipe the screen? Just I don't to... think that you can. No. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. resistant, right? It's, it's not meant to it's operate. It's taking a deep breath right now. Underwater. That was cold water. But uh, hey, it works. Look there at that. we go. And that's a selling I... point. I think that is a selling point. Absolutely. You know, it's going to be a little thrown off, I think, because the water on the screen, on the screen. is throwing it off. Yeah. If I was to dry it off completely, I'm sure it would be right back to normal. Um, but, you know, it's not flickering and uh, yelling at me, so I guess that's a good sign. Sony Xperia Z <laughs> tablet, 10 inches, 500 bucks starting price, just like the iPad. Yep, 600 if you want uh, 32 gigs or of 32 storage. Gigs. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Jason Howell. Absolutely.